Here we are in our example form 1040, populating it with Lacert Tax Software. You don't need Tax Software to follow along, but if you have access to it, it's a great tool to run scenarios with. You can also access the form 1040 related forms and schedules at the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Our starting point here is that we have a single filer up top. This is going to be Mr. Anderson. We have the address down below. We've got no dependents at the starting point. 100,000 on the W-2 income just to have a nice round number. And we're focusing down here then on the standard deduction. So here is our focus. The standard deduction will be taken if it's greater than the itemized deduction. The use of the software is nice because... Uh, it'll allow you to kind of help to do that calculation to help to do that kind of comparison and see which is the larger one It'll typically take the larger one the information on the left of the form here uh, Tells you what the standard deductions are in general Unless you have that added standard deduction if you're over a certain age 65 and blind Then you can have the alternatives to them. So the single or married filing separately is, of course, that 12,950. There's the 12,950 here because that is the filing status we're talking about. If we went to married, and this is how I would try to memorize this, the standard deductions will change from year to year, but you want to have a general dollar amount of what the standard deduction is on the single filing. And then when married, you would expect it to double, which it basically does here. It's to 25 uh, 900. So it's that 12,950 goes up to 25,900 for married because, of course, if you're married, got two people together, you don't want to disincentivize people getting married, and therefore you would expect the standard deduction has to double, even though uh, you would think that maybe the wages won't exactly double and everything because you might have one of the spouses might be taking care of kids and whatnot and all that kind of stuff. But that is that. And then the head of household, of course, is in the middle. It's between the 12,950 and the 25,900 at the 19,400. And that's the general kind of layout. Married filing separately usually bounces back to that 12,950. Although you have that caveat, if one of the spouses is itemizing, that's going to require the other spouse to kind of follow suit. You can't have one itemizing and one standardizing. So from a practical standpoint, then, the question is often going to be, okay, is someone going to itemize or not? Now, we'll, di we'll dive into that. I will dive in, swim around it. Itemized deductions later, but if they're nowhere near being able to itemize, then usually it's not worth your time to go through all the itemized deductions because they will be taking the standard deduction. Many more people fall into that kind of category these days because they tried to simplify the code by basically increasing the standard deduction. So basically most people take it. So if we go into the itemized, just to take a look at it, it's on the schedule A. 